Hi everyone, I'm Ali. What I just did is a traditional Chinese greeting custom for ladies. There are many other ways to greet each other in ancient China, such as bowing and kowtowing. In this video, I'll be showing you the different types of greetings, when to use them, and how to do them properly. There is a long history to these Chinese customs. According to the book Rites of Zhou, which was written around the 2nd century BC, there are nine major types of kowtow. The oldest on earth artifacts are these kowtowing finger rings from the Han Dynasty. You can also find many Dunhua mirrors in the later dynasties depicting people kowtowing to Buddhas and monks. The word kowtow is borrowed from the Cantonese term kowtow, and it translates to knocking the head on the floor. In ancient China, people sat on the floor instead of chairs. When they showed respect to their guest, they would lift their bodies and bow down. This is believed to be the origin of kowtowing. Out of the nine types of kowtow, four are used in formal situations. One is called kong shou, and it's the first step of all kowtows. You bow to the hands instead of going down to the floor. Keep in mind that Chinese follow a custom called male left, female right. So men keep their left hand on top, and women keep their right hand on top. The only exception is at funerals where the hands are switched. So make sure you put the correct hand on top, otherwise it's considered very disrespectful. Another one is called dun shou, and it's commonly used at weddings and worshipping ceremonies. Begin with kong shou and go down to the floor. Touch once and come back up. Qi shou is the most formal kowtow. It's used when meeting the emperor or worshipping the Buddhas and gods. Begin with kong shou. Go all the way down to the floor and stay there. There was a story about Confucius when he traveled to the state of Wei. He visited its ruler's infamous consort, Nanzi. Their meeting space had a divider that separated them. Although they couldn't see each other, Confucius was able to hear the sound of Nanzi's accessories as she was kneeling down. Ancient Chinese women usually have a lot of accessories, making it hard to bend down. Su Bai was originally kneeling down with hands on the floor, but eventually women didn't have to kneel anymore. Soldiers with heavy armor also use su bai instead of other kowtow methods out of convenience. Later on, a less formal bao quan or fist wrapping gesture was developed in place of kowtow. Other than the kowtow, a more casual and common way to greet each other is bowing with hands folded in front. The rites of Zhou defined three major types of bowing. It follows the same male left, female right custom. So men keep their left hand on the outside, and women do the opposite. All bowing are supposed to follow these guidelines. Stand naturally with your feet apart. Knees should not be bent. Bow forward and lower your head. Look at the tip of your shoes. Take a look at this footage taken by Albert Kahn in 1909. It shows four different ways Chinese people greeted each other on a daily basis. Let's talk about the most common ones. Tu Yi, where the low bow, is used when elders or people with higher social status return the bow from someone from a lower class. Shi Yi, where the middle bow is pushing out the folded hands directly in front. It's used when meeting friends or family of similar age and social status. Tian Yi, where the high bow is used in formal events such as coming of age ceremonies, weddings, and worshipping ceremonies to show respect to the parents, ancestors, heaven, and earth. Another type of bow is called the long bow. When you meet people with high social status, hold your hands above the eyes and go below the knees. When you meet elders, hold your hands at mouth level and also go below the knees. 
when you meet friends of the same age, hold your hands at chest level and no need to go below the knees. Women, on the other hand, had gender-specific gestures. For example, 连任礼 Another common one is 万福礼 It first appeared during the Song Dynasty. Hold the hands at chest level. Stick the right foot back. Lower your body. This one in the video is used by Manchurian ladies. Hold the hands on the left knee and lower the body. This one is used by Manchurian men. Stick your right leg behind and lower your body. Hold your right arm straight down. China was once known as a land of dignity and courtesy. Even just a hundred years ago, people were still polite and respectful towards each other. Unfortunately, most of it has been lost today. I hope our generation can help revive this wonderful culture. If you find this video helpful, please like and share. Let me know what you would like to learn in the comments below. I'll be making more videos on traditional Chinese culture, beauty, and fashion. See you next time.